Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday. It's August 23rd. This is going to be your part two. In part one, we can see you are entering your winning season, or some of you are already in your winning season. Um, I see new love, a lot of success, um, and I do see someone from the past that uh, wants to rush in um, after you've walked away um, and went on with your life. So I just want to check to see if this person's going to take any action toward you um, and advice, okay? So St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see. All right, Holy Spirit, um, this past person that came out in reading one, uh, what actions will they take, if any? What actions will they take, if any? Yeah. Yeah, this is, all right, five wands. This is somebody that's going to want to come in, fight for your connection, possibly create chaos and conflict for you. Uh, with the two of wands, this person has made a decision. They want to come in and kind of disrupt things. They want to come in in the Knight of Cups energy and give you a love offer. I know you guys, you're not interested. I'm just telling you what this person's intentions is, okay? They want to come in and love bomb you. With the Hermit in reverse, this person has done no soul searching. They've done no healing. This person, this is not someone that I feel has been accountable but they are gonna to try to come in and heal the situation. Tell me, tell me more about what this person's intentions is. Intentions are, what's their intentions? Here's the thing. You see this person as someone that wants to cause drama. The Five of Swords, this is someone that likes to run their mouth. This is someone that likes to cause problems. This is someone that has tried to destroy you in the past. And this is why this person is blocked from your energy. The Five of Swords and the Two of Swords is the, is the Seven of Swords. This is a liar, a cheater, and a snake that you don't trust. This person is in heartbreak. They broke their own heart. And you may have told this person that they would break their own heart. Eight of Wands, High Priestess, as I say that. You may have communicated with this person, you are gonna break your own heart. Go ahead and make that decision, but you'll end up breaking your own heart. Okay, what else do we need to know about the actions of this person? Yeah, there's, there's some sort of awareness or enlightenment this this person has had with the sun that you are the, the Empress energy. Okay, well, what advice do you have for the Empress collective energy? That you have new love coming in, don't settle. Which, I know this is redundant because I read your comments. I know you guys aren't interested. But this is in the energy, so this is why we're talking about it. This is a warning, a heads up. Somebody could, from the past, could be trying to reach out to cause some sort of drama, chaos, and conflict. Remember, remember the Five of Swords, that this person wanted to destroy you, that they wanted to be in competition with you, and don't settle for less. That's, that's what I'm getting. Don't settle for less. You have real divine love coming in. Yeah, you are manifesting a true divine partner that is honorable, honest, loyal, has integrity, the direct opposite of whoever this person is. And you're going to embrace a new beginning with this person. This is your soulmate that's coming in. That's you, that's what you're manifesting. That's the truth. That is the truth. This is going to be a victory. This leads to marriage. Leads to marriage. And your past person that fell from grace will have an end. The Ten of Swords. Painful ending. The same painful ending that you experience at their hands. That's what's going to happen. 
You know, this person could also lose their job with the Eight of Pentacles to the death, and this would be karma. For, for the decision they made to invest in a karmic partner over their true empress. You were the gift and the blessing. This person, you know, has regret because they do see that now. Still trying to hold on, but you're the queen of swords. You're not interested and you're calling in your match. The king of swords. Where's the king of swords? Calling in your match. You're not going to downgrade. And this would definitely be a downgrade for you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. See, this, per this person, everything is falling apart. Their finances could be hitting rock bottom. Their relationships, their family dynamic. They could be having family issues. Um, this is a direct result of their actions toward you and others. Yep, the same energy that spies on you. Page of Swords, but you're protected. Seven of Wands. You're just you're protected from this person's energy because by you learning the lesson and moving on, um, you're now in that protective bubble of yours. God is protecting you. With the Four of Wands, you have a true divine union that's coming in. This is leading to victory, success, and public recognition with the Six of Wands, and it's beautiful. So let's see the Romance Oracle and see what comes out. As long as karmic energies are projecting on the collective, it's going to come out 100%. Um, let me just do some signs here. Now, that your person, past person sign may or may not come out. Um, if it does, it's just extra validation. Uh, what signs? What signs are involved? Okay. We have Cancer. We have Scorpio, we have Libra, which can also represent justice, and we have Capricorn, the bottom of the deck, we have Leo. So those could be some of the signs that are involved, you or someone else. Uh, let's do the Romance Oracle and see what we get. What does the collective need to know about this situation, please? Holy Spirit, hold on a second. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What does a collective need to be aware of in regards to the situation for the collective? What do they need to be aware of? You know, this person is someone that you're in separation with, but for some of you, you're already getting to know someone else. Um, you know, you have healed from this past person and you're, you've met someone else and you're getting to know someone else. That's not for all of you. I also, I'm getting with the children and the separation, your love life is being affected by your children. This person you're in separation with, with if you have children with them, they could try to use your children to get back into your energy. So let's see. Yeah, they're saying it's safe for you to love. Uh, this new person that you're getting to know or you will be getting to know, it's safe for you to love. And then we got honeymoon, enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. This came out, I think, yesterday or the day before. For some of you, you could be meeting this person around the holidays, Thanksgiving or Christmas. It'll be a completely different kind of love than what you experienced in the karmic relationship. Yeah, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. See, you're gonna be, you're gonna feel guided toward this new person. They're gonna feel very familiar. They're gonna feel safe to you. What else do they need to know? Holy Spirit. And I did see new love in the reading. Throughout both readings. Yeah, see, the person you're in separation with, they wanna reconcile with you. That's what's in the energy. That's the energy they're sending out is reconciliation.
but attraction in reverse, you are not attracted to this person. You're definitely not attracted to this person. Look at that reconciliation and attraction in reverse. This first, this person's actions uh, against you has turned you off. Like you, you're not attracted to this person's energy at all. Playfulness in reverse. This person was cold, detached, unemotional, void of emotion. Um, there's no lightheartedness in that relationship. This feels like you felt like you were in prison with this person. Yeah, look, calling in your soulmate, this could be the one. You're definitely calling in a new partner that is a high level soulmate. You've known this person in a past life and you will feel that connection. Take your time, get to know them, don't rush it, but that's a relationship that is meant to last. It's a beautiful relationship. Yeah, and the past person is codependent. You may have been codependent on their energy in the past, but they remain in the codependent energy, and now they wanna have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let your friends help you. This could be the spiritual. I'm giving you guidance in regards to this situation. Um, so finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You know what I'm getting? This person didn't think that you had you held any value. This person didn't see your value. This person didn't think you had enough financially. This person may have made decisions based on finances and now there is no financial issues for you. This person blew their blessing. Yeah, and you're calling in true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. Very soon, in reverse, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So very soon, in reverse, could be now. It could be in the present energy. Yeah, let go of control issues and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you let go of the control over the situation and you focused on healing. This can be your own wound since childhood, okay? Forgiving and learning. Yeah, you definitely learned the lesson. You released your ex. And then with give your relationship a chance, this is you giving a new person a chance. This is the love of a lifetime. You release this person. You're focused on, you know, opening your heart chakra to someone new, which is beautiful. The love of a lifetime. Yeah, I said it and look, it's on the bottom of the deck. New love, the love of a lifetime. That's what you're focused on. All right, let's, let's do some tea on this, guys. You guys are doing amazing. I'm so proud of you. You are warriors. What was meant to destroy you made you fierce. It made you a warrior. It made you strong, confident, unstoppable. And let me tell you, that energy um, is felt. The energy you project is felt by the good, the bad, and the ugly. So keep it up. You guys are doing great. Let's see what else we get. Mystic uh, Red, Ro Red Rose Oracle tiny little deck. All right, for the collective. Yeah, <laughs> we got cutting ties in reverse. This person doesn't wanna let you go. They have no self-worth. This person, it says self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, self-indulgence. This person, they need to heal. They're still trying to hold on to you. They've done no healing work. That's why it's over. You're not playing around with this person. Yeah, you're running. You may have been a chaser in the past, but you are running now.
you know what? <laughs> they just showed me, who is that uh, Halloween character that wears the mask? Is that Jason? Friday the 13th? They just showed me the person wearing the mask chasing and you running. That's how you view this person. Not only are they fake phony, they wear a mask, but their energy is creepy. And they've been, you're feeling their energy, most of you, because they're, they're nostalgic. They're looking at your pictures. They're spying on you online. Um, you just see this person as just dark and creepy. Yeah, look, reminiscing, two cards, camera and picture. They're just obsessed with your energy now. Yeah, this snake is blocked though. Competition, enemy, the other woman, look over your shoulder. This person's blocked. They're bound to this karmic feminine or masculine that's a snake and they're blocked from your energy. They can't do anything. Yeah, this person wants to give you a love call. All they do is party. All they care about is, you know, having fun, pretending to be single, living in the moment. This person doesn't take anything serious. Watching, looking, perception, stalking. Like I said, this is a lurker. Yeah. See, this person now wants to chase you, the chaser. Fear of abandonment, chasing, codependency. Yeah, they're definitely codependent. This is the person you're separated from. They're in sadness, grief. Could be a twin flame or a false flame. A karmic that came in uh, to dupe you out of your true twin flame union. Whoop, door's closing. Yeah, you don't see this person as paradise. This, this false flame or the twin flame that fell from grace you don't see this person this is the direct opposite happiness joy playfulness enjoying each other honeymoon phase is in reverse there is no happy memories with this person for many of you no you don't see this person the same they were yeah you set boundaries that for some of you they put you in a third party situation with a snake and you're like no ew ew i'm not interested in you you gross me out yeah you there's no passion for this person Insane chemistry sparks, having fun, equal interest, and burning desire in reverse. You do not desire this person. This person does not make you happy. This person, I'm telling you, they keep showing me the Friday the 13th movie. It's like you see this person as, you know, an actor in a, in a scary horror film. And you're like, ew, no. Yeah, a karmic relationship. That's how you see this. This person's a karmic and you're too grounded for this business. You're just too stable. You're, you're like, no. Uh, relationship is over. See, they don't want it to be over. Um, this person could be going through a divorce with wedding ring in reverse. Um, that's, that's their problem. That's not your problem. Yeah, blockage is seduction. You, this person can't seduce you because this person is a big turnoff to you. You're disgusted by this person's energy. Yeah, you've cut out this person. Not today. Yeah, no. You guys, I don't need to tell you. This is in the energy for your energy too. So I see exactly how most of you feel. If this is aligning with your, with you, with you. I I know exactly how you feel because it's coming out. All right. Should we get a couple of these? Nah. We'll do that on the next one. Let's do daily guidance from your angels and the love and light. Look at that. New partner on the bottom of the deck. New partner. Notice the signs. Pay attention to the signs. For those of you that are manifest in love, pay attention. All right, for the collective. Giving and receiving. You know, it says the entire universe open, operates in cycles similar to your inhalation and exhalation. When you only exhale, which is to give, over give, 
and or only inhale, which is only take, you become out of rhythm which with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Every relationship has to be equal give and take. You don't see that past person as anyone that could give to anyone. They're a taker. They take, take, take. Then we got, there's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And the situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Being in a high vibration, remaining in the, in the vibration of love is going to help you to call in what you truly desire. They want you to know whatever was done in the past, it's in the divine's hands. You don't have to worry about it. It's being taken care of. The bottom of the deck says, shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will, we will, we will galay you in order to show you how to create and accept, guide you, I think. I don't know what galay means. I'm assuming guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So they're preparing, um, a shower of abundance for you heart chakra under that and new partner yeah you have your heart chakra is going to be wide open because you have this new partner that's coming in all you have to do is ask ask and then be open with child be open to that new beginning with childlike wonder release and surrender and have confidence wow i love it some of you could be working on creative projects. The advice, they said, go out and get some fresh air. You are going to receive trust, trustworthy guidance, and they need you to pay attention to the signs. I love it, guys. Let's do from this one, light and love, and then we will um, we'll end this reading. All right. For the collective. What advice do you have for the collective? For the collective. Embrace adventure in your life. Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. This keeps coming out. The gift of love and light. It says no one lights up a, no one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. God gave you a light and he's saying don't be afraid to let that light shine. Show your true self to the world. God will lead the way. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's spirit. Yeah, let your light shine and let God lead the way. Celebrate the beautiful gift of life. Let the heaven be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. They want, the spiritual world wants you to celebrate life, okay? The bottom of the deck says, commit to a spirit of excellence. Whatever you do, do well. The Holy Spirit is guiding you for sure. Gentleness is the path of peace. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Shine your inner light brightly. The city has no need for sun or moon for the glory of God illuminates the city and the lamb is its light. What did I say? They want you to shine your light, okay? All right, guys, this is your second reading. I love you. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading or meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye-bye.